Do you think he could beat a Neanderthal in a 40-yard dash? They were thick, strong, and built like linebackers. They weren't slow. Researchers estimate their speed using fossil measurements and biomechanical modeling, looking at their femurs, pelvises, and muscle attachment points, and how their joints handled force. One study from University College London estimated they could hit 20 to 25 miles per hour in short bursts, roughly the same top range as elite athletes. They had huge leg muscles, wide feet, and dense joints that were made for bursts on uneven terrain. Their environments were forested and dangerous, perfect for ambush sprinting, not marathons. Like you might outrun one on a track, but but in the woods, 10 yards away, behind a tree, they jump out, you're not racing, you're prey. And it's already too late, you're about to hit the ground. Humans were built to run, Neanderthals were built to end it before the race even started. Which brings us back to the 40 yard dash. An average person runs it in about 5.4 seconds, an NFL player, around 4.5 seconds. Based on those sprint estimates earlier, a Neanderthal would likely clock in somewhere between 4.5 and 4.9 seconds. No warm up, no cleats, just raw ice age power.